the Lakers making some roster moves on the final day of the regular season, signing defensive-minded guard Shaq Harrison and veteran center Tristan Thompson. In order to make the moves, the Lakers will waive Davon Reed. Here's Darvin Ham on Tristan Thompson. With Tristan, again, same type of scenario. Um, just have backup just in case of an injury and what he brings his spirit his positivity as well as you know the way he's played um, years and years championship level basketball you know championship pedigree um, great guy to be around great teammate um, hear nothing but great things about him and having coached against him for a bunch of years you know he and I have always had a great rapport throughout his career and I'm a big fan of him watched him back when he was playing at Texas uh, but just another great guy to add and a serviceable player, if, you know, if, if we need to go in that direction. Darvin Ham there on uh, most notably Tristan Thompson. I think when it comes to the postseason, you want depth on your side and adding a big man to this roster. Rob, your thoughts? Well, you know, for me, it's, it's another big body. Um, but do you have enough time to integrate this guy into what you have? Because you got to already think of it. You got Mo Bama who's coming back. And then you got your favorite, Winion. So where does this guy fit? And how, is he going to have a rhythm? I know his type of game, he really don't need no rhythm. He just bang and grab rebounds and you know, get to the board and do what he does in that sense. But, but if we go against some guys like, you know, let's say a Jokic, I'm happy for him because he brings a little bit more weight with him than, you know, Winion or uh, Mobama. So you have that aspect, you know, sort of like what Dwight Howard did against exactly. Jokic before. Exactly. So mm -hmm. I like that aspect of it. But for right now, I hope he's in shape. I hope he's ready to play, and I hope that Winion and all the other guys aren't like this. <laughs> you know, saying, who's this guy? Because it's, it is, he can't be beneficial when he goes up against those bigger, stronger centers down the, down the, down the road. Yeah, I was going to make that comparison to White Howard. Did he, he played with LeBron, did he not? He did, mm -hmm. several seasons. So season he ago. has that, and he, he has experience. I, you know, when you have a, a guy that's been through the trenches and, you know, been in and out and has a little experience, you're right. You hope that he's in shape, that he can come in and give you whatever, 7 to 11 minutes, especially if you just, you know, have some fouls you want to give. You can get physical with, with some of the other bigs like Jokic where, you know, you don't want him to get hot or you're trying to stop, a, 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 you know, him from heating up. Uh, so, yeah, I, I like that. I, I like to have a spare. I don't want to call him a spare tire, but, you know, he's a guy that's been there, knows how to do it, and like we saw in the video, he can give you something, you know, in, in, in certain minutes. He is a rebound machine. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That was, that's exactly what I was going to say. He's a guy that stars in his role. He's a yep. team guy. So whatever is needed. He loves to do the dirty work, the physicality he yep. will bring to the table.